All right, we're back with another edition of Empower Player of the Week. This week we have co MVPs, co Empower Players of the Week. We have Elias Saylor and Isabel Shelton, two of the pins for the 17 18 black team who had a hard fought battle this weekend at the 18s qualifier, battled all the way through and took a, a, a tough third place, but it was a stacked event. Um, so tell me this weekend, kind of how it went. What were some of the keys to your guys' success? Um, we had a lot of close games. I mean, we what, lost both of them 13 to 15. I think that's pretty close. We definitely fought it out to the end. Like we didn't give up. We didn't lose by five points. We took it down like tooth and nail. So, I mean. So she talked about you had a couple tough losses, but they were battling tooth and nail to the end. How'd that make you feel as a coach? Um, I was honestly very proud of our team's effort this weekend. Uh, these two in particular, there are two players that played all the way around nonstop. Um, they really embraced that challenge and rose to the occasion, um, especially Alaya that I know hasn't gotten that many back row reps. Uh, she played phenomenal defense, served very aggressive, and Bell just held it down for us out of system attacking and just being that leader at the net for us. So Alaya, going all the way around, six rotation, getting to play some defense. You know, what was that like getting, you know, to be able to play, you know, a position that you haven't got to play as much of um, and being able to just step up and, and fulfill a role that your team needed? I feel like it was honestly fun. Like, I just got to step up and play it. Like, there was no one else to fill the role, so I was like, okay, I'll take it. Like, I don't know. Defense hasn't always been my strong suit, but it was fun to play it. Like, still work my hardest, go all out, everything. It was fun. Awesome. Well, obviously you did really well. You guys did extremely well from attacking, but also defensively. Uh, Avon noticed it. You know, he definitely nominated you guys right away when we reached out, talked about how you guys really stepped up. You were the six rotation players, you know, kind of the pillars of the team that the team could count on and kind of rally behind um, and help carry you guys all the way uh, to that third place victory. Um, anything else you think from this weekend? You know, kind of little tips that you could share with the empowered family, you know, something that could uh, they could maybe take into their next tournament. Anything that you guys, uh, you know, seem to uh, really key in on this weekend and do well with? I personally like these two, and this goes for the rest of our team. I think that everybody just embraced the role that was kind of given to them. And the team effort, the camaraderie was just perfectly there for us to be successful. And I think with that behind them, I think these two really excelled in that as well. I, I think they can attest that they felt their team really behind them the whole way. So that was honestly awesome as a coach to watch and, and see kind of flourish in that moment. So ultimately being a great team player, you know, stepping up, doing whatever the team needs you to do. Um, hey, that's phenomenal. You know, that's words of wisdom for all of our teams. All of our teams to be successful, you got to be able to come together and create that synergy and play together uh, better as a team than you do, you know, as a sum of each individual part. And so it sounded like you guys did that. You guys filled the roles that were needed uh, and battled all the way through to that third place. So congratulations, you guys. Uh, congratulations on winning the Empowered Players of the Week. And uh, we look forward to an amazing season. Thank you, guys.